What are going on everybody? Today I'm coming from the River Bay fishing village in Montego Bay and I'm linking up with Muffy. Muffy is cooking up a storm in his kitchen. He's going to have sea cat, he's going to have conch, he's going to have ackee and saltfish, steam fish, fried fish. There's a whole heap of food that he's going on with and then he have something special which I've been waiting for. He's going to make a conch salad, not a Bahamian conch salad, a Jamaican conch salad. Totally different, totally full with scotch bonnet pepper and all sorts of different vibes and put his special touch on it. But here man, you have to give them for them things. Kung salad, trust me, one of my favorite things them and the Bahamian and them, them know how to do it. That's their thing. Just like jerk is our thing. But I can tell you, I can't wait to go try some Kung salad, fresh Kung salad from right here at the fishing village. And then we're heading out to see exactly what kind of fish him have, what kind of fried fish, what kind of you know, a little ackee and saltfish, just a whole heap of food going to be cooked in his kitchen today, right here at River Bay Fishing Village. Stay tuned. Bless up. So as soon as you hear that scraping, that scraping just bring you back to childhood and it's a what we call sky juice this way, get it in a bag. Original sky juice, you know how long I'm gonna see this? Yes. I want it in a bag. get it in a bag, original bag, you have it where you can get it in a cup but this was $150 and straight in the bag, little water, two little syrup it usually has three different types of syrups you had orange, pine and I believe a cherry or fruit punch is what me used to but right in the bag again, original sky juice mm. oh my god, straight back to childhood it's sweet and rotted but I can tell you the perfect thing to cool down the hot out here today and have a look at the sky juice. You hear that going on over there is just amazing that it just brought me back to, to childhood and I have to say, yo, big ass sky juice. No, the sky juice is really something in the sun hot where mm, everything gone, all of the sweetness. You know when you get down and you drink out most of the water and it's just the ice left and you don't really have that sweet taste like you had before. And it kind of just work, but you can't dash it away because it's so hot. That's where we're at. We're outside our Muffy shop, and one thing I have to tell you, from a call him today, he might tell me, say, yo, he might the market. When you go inside, it's just fresh produce straight from the market. The market is literally a stone throw away. So I'm right next door, fresh clean products straight from St. Elizabeth, the hills and valleys, the bread basket all over West Milan where everybody come to the Charles Garden Market and then that is now put into the food, those fresh products, all those aromatics and all of those great Jamaican seasonings that grow specially and beautifully here is going to be in the pot. Yeah. So some rice and peas, you start here. Yeah, start here, yeah, rice and peas. Fresh out some peas. Yeah. Well, I'm the thing go quick. What else you have a command for the, the... Yeah, We have some sea cat and conch with steamed fish, escovitch fish. You can get um, French fry um, conch, French fry lobster, curry lobster. Yeah, we have a variety, variety of um, seafood we'll look for today. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's um, so. We start it off right now. And we are trying everything we are coming to the We have found some ackee and saltfish said we are going yeah. to deal with it. Yeah, man. So we're going to rise up the, the conch national. them and the sea cat right now. Alright, conch and sea cat. So we are cooked that. Stew it. No, we might have brown stew, curry, yeah, the pens, man. How you want it? How you need it. Alright. Yeah. So about, what about the 
a Kong salad. Yeah, man, a Kong salad. And that, <laughs> and that, me no one don't so fine. There's someone who cook, there's someone who deal with a wicked Kong yeah, salad. And after that, I said, no, I'm happy with that place. Uh. Yeah. The variety, the style where I have, yeah. the flavors where I'm putting on the pot is just. And but the really thing you put out there, uh, make sure so you put the name a roll. Yeah, man. You yeah, understand? So I market the thing properly. Yeah, man. A kingfish. Slice, slice yeah. a kingfish that. Yeah. And that catch right as up. Right, that's up on the beach. Anything up on the, from the sea to the pot. Sea to the pot. So right. it literally coming from, you can see the boats right through the window. And then it comes straight in here and get it straight to the kitchen. Yeah, There's a right piece of barra said we. Barra and kingfish. Barra now. and kingfish. Escovage. That I got fry up. Yeah. Some onion, tomato, carrot, sweet pepper. Yeah, man. A lot of things. These are some conk I catch yesterday. These are the fresh conk. Yeah. So show you we want. So these are the conk salad conks right now. Yeah. Inner bank, different from outer bank, and this is inner bank come. It's more soft, more fresh. I feel alone, though. Eh? Feel alone, come. Yeah, me alone want a conch salad right now, but me have some other people are found. Alright. Some banana dumpling, yum. I got some roast bread fruit too. That sound proper. That is that. We get the food with. Yeah. Yeah, man. Trouble the, the rice, the rice and business. You and the starch and them things. Yeah. So, we want the food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I have to mix it with some food. Yeah, man. So, some yam, some banana. Banana, dumpling. Dumpling. Butter. Banana, dumpling. You know them old time days. Eh? Banana, dumpling. Yeah, banana, man. dumpling. <laughs> That's the sound of the pressure pot and the peas. The smell coming out already. Added some garlic into it. And that pressure pot just giving that aroma of that red peas off with a little seasoning in there and then I'm going to add the rice and cook that down after some real Jamaican rice and peas but I think we'll be having our seafood with probably some bread fruit and maybe some of that food as well, a little dumpling to sop up some of the gravy and see how it goes. Add the flour to it. This is dumpling banana. Yeah. Banana dumpling, however you want to call yeah. it, it's banana in a dumpling. <laughs> banana dumpling. Don't add little salt in it. Remember, you know, you know, add too much in it, you know, because we're going to put salt in a pot too. All right. So you have boiled the salt, it's not a fry no, dumpling. No, you cook. You have to cook. Right. And just knead it up, make sure the banana and that flour Femi. get together. Right. that dough after kneading it form it into a ball make sure each part of it a little each part of it has a little bit of banana a little bit of the flour a little touch of salt in there and then it going into the pot banana dumpling and then the pot has been boiling and just ready for it right away after I finish kneading it the pressure cooker just a thing and the smell of the peas. And what you had, in, you had something else in there, you had garlic in the pressure cooker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make the peas get sharper. Yeah, man. Nice cat, really, my mate. I'm in a pot, you know, because... Yeah, do I? Some yam. Yeah, drop some yam in the pot also. Yeah. A yellow yam? Yellow yam. Straight yellow yam from up at Chilean. Albert Town yellow yam. Yeah, I got it. So straight yellow lamp. Straight no yellow fun. yam from up by Trilani. This is Albert Town yellow. yellow yam. This is in the hills of Trilani. Basically at the 
up the top of part of Trelawney heading into Mandeville side is where Albert Town is and they're known for the yam that they have up there. Only for people say that's why you see them both run so fast because them yellow yam they want my youth from Trelawney. They have a big up a legend anyway. Yeah. You're seeing from the yam. <laughs> Fresh catch the boat. This is some lean snapper, some red snapper, silver snapper. Doctor, everything good size doctor. How much? How much a pound is it? It's a fresh from the seaside, right? Fresh so. Yeah, man. Butterfish, all of them things there in there, too. So if you want to get in contact, you have a number where people yeah, can see. Shango fish. Shango fish. Three four two eight four zero four and a shango fish. Shango yeah. fish. Real fresh. Yeah man, fresh catch. Lobster and come. Some nice big lobster in there. Shango run them big lobster. One lobster. Rotted. Look at the size of that. Real big bro. Yeah man. This is around one, four pound lobster. Yeah, four pound size. Pretty. Pretty and nice. Ready for your pot. Ready and waiting. Yeah. And conk and everything. Yeah, yeah. These are the fresh inner bank kong. Yeah. We used to make the kong salad. We don't want to use the whole part of the kong, but it's it's skinny. up here some more tougher. Yeah, it's tougher. Don't want it seal part. Yeah. It's tougher. Bahamas, they skin the entire kong yeah. and but use it. You don't need to use the entire. So we're right. not Jamaica, we're not dealing with find out which part from the kong soft. Right. We can eat right out. Everything the whole light can't right. eat right away. No, you have some more soft and tender. You see, it's so soft and nice, you know, but you see, if you're skin off, yeah. you're skinny. Because when we clean conk, we kind of yeah, stick man, it and then beat it. it. Yeah. But I see you do it already. Last yeah. time I skinny, when I skin them. I it, but I read yeah, it with you away. Yeah. yeah, man. Pressure cooker just keep on barking in the background, keep on giving off that scent. I'm no longer here to ask me, what's up with the audio? Things are pressure. I said, this is the start of the conch salad. Yeah. Just a slab out the conch. Yeah. So you cleaned it, washed it, and then just created right the slab. And as I said, this is not a, it's a Jamaican kong salad. Just thinly dicing it. I'm excited for this, can you tell? So small dices. And this is the last of kong season. I mean, after this kong season is closed. I think it's August 1st, kong season closed. We're lucky to be getting the last of it. Thinly dicing that kong cup. So what he's doing is just, after he cleaned it, he dices it up, slices it and dices it. So a little joint of it, so you're just getting, look how soft that is, cuts right through. It's almost like a hot knife cutting through butter. That's how soft this conch is, and that's the difference between inner bank conch and outer bank conch. The inner bank conch is way softer, more tender, and that's what we use for conch salads as well. Yeah, man. Excited for this. I don't think we've ever videoed conch salad. And I've been, I've had it in the Bahamas before. I went to Arawak Key. Big up number here, man. Massive them. Went to Arawak Key in Nassau and had conch salad. 
and I hope to go back someday and basically feature that again. That's absolutely one of my favorite meals that I've had. And this one, to find it here, trust me, I've had it here before and after having it here, I said, no, I'm gonna have to come film this. Kong salad, um, I've had it in the Bahamas before on NASA at Arawak Key. Some of the best Kong salad I've ever had. Jamaican Kong salad is not Bahamian Kong salad. Let me say it again. Jerk is ours, Kong salad is theirs. But we have a different way of preparing Kong salad in Jamaica where we add some of our spices, scotch bonnet pepper. Generally, they have two different types of Kong salad in the Bahamas. You have the original Kong salad and then you have the tropical Kong salad, which usually has mango and has pineapple and other fruits in there as well. This one is going to have some of that tropical flavor with it. With the, I don't think we're getting any mangoes because mango is kind of hard to find. Our mango season coming on the out right now. But we're going to get some of the pineapple, which he says will be in there, and we're going to get scotch bonnet in there. So this one would be more of a spicy Kong salad, a real Jamaican type Kong salad than a Bahamian Kong salad. No disrespect to Bahamas, I say all the time, each culture has to keep their own thing. We just love the Kong salad from Bahamas and we do it here in Jamaica as well, but it's not Bahamian Kong salad. Bahamian Kong salad is Bahamian Kong salad. This is a Jamaican Kong salad. Dicing up some green peppers for that as well. So that mixture of green peppers, tomato, onions, scotch bonnet pepper, and a little cucumber will be mixed into that with some acid from either a lime, orange, or sour orange is how they normally do it. And that will sit for a little bit and let that marinate with the conch. And once it soak up all of that flavor, man, it's good to go on. Yeah, man. So that look good, man. Yeah, man, mixed up and nice, look like Christmas. <laughs> yeah, man, the smell of that pepper just rise and there's nothing like that sweet aroma of scotch bonnet pepper the flavors just smell so fruity and the spice that's in there i tell you all the time mm. yeah man and there's the difference now scotch bonnet pepper in the kong salad that's a muffy kong salad for you mixing everything up now all of those peppers the different colors the green the yellow the red the white onion the red onion the scotch bonnet pepper just mix it up now and then add a little cucumber what kind of natural juice you say have you netto come see you take out some have, natural. Um, string bean with uh, with um i think i name again so you have like cucumber. cucumber, string bean, cucumber, and um, beetroot. Are you deal with all of them yeah, too? Yeah, me deal with all of them juice. So natural juice as well. You get a natural juice with the fresh fish, fresh seafood, fresh everything, everything yeah. where you want. But remember, as I done to other kitchen, but that me love. So everything you get is fresh, freshly prepared, just like this kung salad. Let's do some vinegar and wash it up. Wash it off with some vinegar again. Another wash, that's the third wash that it's got. Or fourth. Mm -hmm. Third one. You see that now? You see that conch water there now? <laughs> and the vinegar and all those water, we put that in the pot. <laughs> A problem for the wives and the wives. Drop like a spice, you know. Yeah, like a spice, I just drop on it. Yeah, man. Just. That's a little muggy seasoning in the corn salad. We have some blended seasoning. And then some blended seasoning added as well. So that looks like a little scallion. Ginger, like ginger, pimento. Like pimento in there as well, like a time. I tell you, this is not, mm, smell almost like a jerk seasoning. Give that a nice mix up now. 
You can smell that seasoning that just went in there. It's almost like a jerk seasoning that's been put on top of it. Just to spice it up, lifting up with the aromatics coming out, the pimento hitting me, and then load it with the colors. Load it. Just brush everything, all of that. Peppers and onions and cucumber and tomato in there. And the smell of it, I can't get over how good that smell. See it now. Lime juice. Yeah, man. A healthy mixture now. Yup, the acid out of the lime hit you right there. That's some good, fresh lime that you're smelling the juice from. Coming up now, mixing with that sauce, that freshly ground out sauce that he said is, smells almost like a jerk sauce. So you look in there now, after that, him just added everything to that pot and then mix it up. And then what I can't get over is the smell of that jerk sauce is what it smells like. He says natural seasoning blend up. So you know there's onion, there's scallion. He says some pimento in there as well. It smells like a nice blended jerk sauce. And that smell has just lifted out of the Kong salad and then a little lime to it as well. Let that marinate, let it soak for a while and then we get down and ready for business now. But I can tell you, that is a Jamaican Kong salad with that scotch bonnet pepper, with all of that seasoning, that little jerk or marinade that he has, that he put into it that homemade seasoning of just spices that he has blended together himself. Smell the aromatics that come out of there. It's just something that is really enticing, make you just can't wait to have that. I don't even want it to sit for too long. Let's go, let's go have some of that Kung Salon. fresh kong salad that you saw him cutting up that has a scotch bonnet pepper in there that natural seasoning that brings up some pimento flavor in he added some spice in there with the scotch bonnet pepper you have the red onions you have the white onions the green scotch bonnet the yellow scotch bonnet and a little cucumber that's in there now the smell is bringing up a, you're just smelling that natural seasoning and all of those blends that you have in there just come into life and the aromatics of it is so amazing. The smell of it is just enticing. And to get the Kung salad on the last of Kung season here, Bahamas is known for this, but in Jamaica, we like to put things and give it our own spice. Muff is put a whole heap of work into this and cut up him thing and deal with it fresh. And then him add his little spices to it where you add that blended seasoning and some other stuff in there to make it his own. And I can tell you the smell is just bringing out a whole heap of flavor. Yeah, man. Mm. Right away, it's so tender. The conch is so tender. It's literally, wow, it's so tender. But right away, that little hummingbird of scotch on it heat right there at the back of your throat. But it's not a dead heat that when I met my ball for the fire station that's next door to send a fire engine. It's just perfect. You have the acid from the lime that's giving it, basically cooking it a little bit from it been sitting there and marinating. It gives it a little cook as well. So something similar to a, a ceviche here, I don't want to talk about the pepper around there, but mm, a natural blend of some of that that's in there. The onions that's coming out, that red onion that you see on it, when it pairs with the tomato and with the green peppers, it brings almost like a natural salsa flavor to it. You all right, Ronnie? Mm. No, man, it's not a lot of spice. The pepper them add flavor, not spice. Hint of spice. No pepper, I want me with a one. It's not enough pepper, but I get in it. Man, I'm selling my Indian and them can't manage the pepper, but I mean, I'm loving it. 
spice, it's very mild spice, it's really not that spicy. I don't see what I'm going to complain about. This very nice flavor from the pepper. I mean, you could have chopped two more pepper up in this and there's enough pepper up on it and just add some flavor, but it's gone so well so far. Everything has paired and flavors have come out. The, the powder seasoning adds a little different context to it, but you can taste some of that pimento that I see down there. A little bit of hint of pimento is in there. I mix it with the scotch bonnet pepper and that conch, which generally you add the flavor to conch. Conch is not something that's very flavorful. And once you add that with a little lime juice and the acid on top of it, man, it creates a really, really very satisfying pairing. Sea cat. So they have to have the sea cat. Sea cat. Yeah, man. So you season right. the pot so already. Squid. All right, squid. Yeah, man. All right, conk. Sea cat, conk and squid. All right, so basically when you're done with all this water, when you're done cook, you can drink it near broth. Yeah. All right. Sea cat, conk and squid broth. Right. It's not like you want to add to the population. <laughs> Rice and peas are cooked up on a bubble up. Yeah, yeah man. Well seasoned. That's the kingfish that's in just slice up. You can see how that meat is fresh. It has not been imported. This is straight out of our Caribbean Sea. Good man. I'm going to say I'm not cook with regular rice, long grain, parboil or anything. Or jasmine rice you used to. Yeah, man. A natural coconut milk. Natural coconut milk. Yeah, man, the smell is amazing. And you have pimento in there as well. Yeah. Pimento berry, skelly and thyme. That's scotch bonnet for flavor. And everything is done to add. I'm literally just doing this because somebody ordered rice. That's your special seasoning. Yeah, man. So that's your proprietary blend that you just sprinkling on. I've generously seasoned the fish, you know, and the fish this fresh. Put the salt and pepper on it or your seasoning blend and bring out the flavor, put it in the fryer and then get nice after that. Now that's how the king fish. Yeah. Let me see cat ready. See cat ready. Come ready. And a squid ready. Right, everything in Everything ready. 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 Now if we go try the broth then. So the broth after this, which is the sea cat, the conch and the squid. The beautiful thing about coming to a seaside like this is the freshness of everything. Everything is straight from the sea, straight from the fisherman and straight in here. Muffy says sometimes he fishes as well, but you can look at that barra meat and also that kingfish meat. That kingfish could have been used for sashimi cuts. That's how fresh and how good that meat looks. Just a nice white slices. The grain looked amazing. Everything looked so fresh and so delicate. Like you could just Get a little ginger, get a little soy sauce, mix that up and splash a little of that meat in and just thinly slice it and it would be that good. That's how fresh the meat is coming in here and that's what everything that has been coming into the kitchen has been. Everything has been fresh, everything has been basically from sea to table experience. Respect. So this is that broth, hot and rotted of that conch, squid and sea cat. Wow. You have the taste of the peas, but then you have all of that seafood flavor in there. It's hot and rotted. Mm, just scotch my tongue. Definitely just scotch my tongue. But yeah, just scotch my tongue. The sea cat broth, it's 
you have that flavor of the sea cat, the color as well. A little bit of that, you know, the sea cat brings out that color of a reddish pinkish type color, sometimes purple when you boil it out. And then you have the squid and the conch of added flavor. Very nice, hot and ratty, just bon appetit. In Jamaica, you sweat and you still drink soup. So the sea cat broth with the conch and the squid in there. Oh man, that have a whole heap of flavor in there. I take a sip of, of that in call me and say the rice and peas ready. That, my friends, will help to regenerate and regrow or to spread the population of Jamaica because them things that are things what Jamaican man talk about when them put whole heap of things into a pot to make it more powerful, make it more stronger, to straighten up the back. That one I go straight to my back. And then the rice and peas ready, steam out and everything. Cook right down and that's jasmine rice that's in there. It's not your long grain rice or your parboiled rice that you use. That's straight jasmine rice. Fluffy and nice, make it one steam down so that when we get it out of the pot, it nice and still have that steam on it. Natural coconut, natural ingredients, fresh ingredients that came from the market this morning. The scallion, the thyme, the peppers, everything, as I said, when I called Muffy this morning, he was at the market getting fresh ingredients to come in here. And most of those fresh ingredients have been used in everything that's been cooked so far. Everything that's not been cooked so far is in the conch salad and stuff as well. And then anything that's going on after that is everything fresh. As I said, the market is just a stone throw from here. That's Charles Garden Market. And we're here at River Bay Fishing Village down here in Montego Bay. Got that golden complexion and that. Yep. Barracuda, so as one set go out, one set go in, so that kingfish is done and the barra goes in. Very similar meats. I think the, the barra to me is a sweeter meat. A lot of islands don't eat barracuda, they say that it's poisonous. But a whole heap of things them say poisonous when I see even mm. that. <laughs> well, yeah, the pretty yeah. video. Yeah. Yeah. You can smell the vinegar, the escovitch coming mm -hmm. off of it, the yeah, peppers, the onion, and a little pimento in there. Careful with the soup, you know. You'll have kids. I'm just dicing up some of that now to make that stew. That's a piece of conch. You can tell how soft it's gotten after that pressure. Still steaming. What, me? In a hat? Mm -hmm. You used to it. Yeah. It's the same broth that you make, that you use and make a sauce with, and then you mix up some stuff. Um, natural seasonings sweet with pepper, red sweet pepper, skellion, and thyme, garlic. Everything mixed up in your natural seasonings to go down into that stew. Now you had a little potato, potato in there before, carrot, and carrot, and yeah, thyme. thyme right. Yeah, man, it smells so now absolutely add... amazing. You have that seafood smell coming out. And once you put that in there, you basically just let red, that yeah. one, one soak That's and it. cook down until it thicken up the cupboard. Look how beautiful the colors are of that part. And you're getting that smell of just seafood, fresh seafood just climbing through the nut tree with all of that fresh seasoning. There goes the thyme, the smell of the thyme. The aromatics are just on fire. Yeah, man. See, we know, um, give people water dumping to eat. We just cut it up. Cut it up. Yeah, and have nothing big there going in your mouth. Yeah man, I add food man. This one. 
See it, you know, you have to go in a hotel to get them food. Yeah. Let me tell you something. And this first of all, food you can't you know. find them food there in the hotel. <laughs> This is food, this is not hotel food, this is seaside fresh food, Jamaican food with natural seasoning that come from right All over right. the market where we get from few people who are imported and brought right here to the seaside. Yeah, I must say, this is not a tourist menu, this is not a hotel thing. A Jamaican thing. Jamaican, so Jamaican that we see in the rice with a plastic bag. So if you got and the smell, G's and peas, the coconut. So, so if you look on the rice, they're not married together. They, no, they're, they're they, Lego. Yeah, man. Yeah, I said so they're not married, they're free. They're free. Yo, I mean, I have to go to taste some of that rice for mine as well. Me want the rice and me want the banana dumpling in there for me. That one. Well, yeah. Yeah, man, I want to try this a banana dumpling, yeah? Chop it up, hot up. And some of that, that coconut smelling rice, I mean, you know, you think so rice, people start use the coconut milk because the powdered coconut is here, but thank God we will pull some sort of the tradition with the rice and peas and coconut milk that's come from our coconut tree. Sauce. <laughs> all right, it's not gravy, it's sauce. All right, all right, all right. All right. Where is that good for you? I'm a piece of the bar. The bar, yes, sir. But it's in the one that my face looks bigger than the rest, but a cycle. Beautiful. The octopus, the punk, and the squid. Rice and peas right here. You have the fried kingfish, fried bara, and then you have the then you have the banana dumpling. That's a banana dumpling right here. This has the banana in it that we saw him grate up earlier. And this is something I'm looking forward to, to try with everything else as well. But what? What a food. This monstrosity of food. Look at this, how lovely this plate is. I mean, you have the stew down octopus, you have the stew down conk with that, you have squid with it. You also have thyme that's on it that's been cooked down in those fresh seasonings that came from the market today. The fresh fish that could have been used, well, the kingfish could have been used as basically sashimi, how fresh that meat looked. And then you have the barracuda, of course. All of this is actually fresh. And then you have a piece of banana that's in the grate out the banana and put it in flour and then boil it out. So you have banana dumpling with natural rice and peas. Everybody on the get a nice plate. into the nitty gritty with my hand. This is the barracuda, that fresh barra meat. A lot of people, a lot of other countries don't eat barra. I mean, Bahamas, they call them barry. I went fishing out there once and they wanted to throw them back. Me, I said, yo, me eat barracuda, do not dash all of them back. I will eat one. This is a fresh one that was caught right out here, brought in and then fried. Nothing, I mean, barracuda is one of the sweetest meats 
I think you can find people don't appreciate it because they say it can poison you. But once you put it down, the ants don't take it, it's good to go. Don't follow that. I'll put a disclaimer. Oh my God. Mm. So moist, so tender, sweet, flaky, juicy. It's not supposed to be this juicy and sweet. I mean, it's so fresh that all you need is a little bit of salt and pepper on it and you'd be good either way. That's how fresh this barrel is. The skin as well gets a nice crunch. Some people don't they flake up the, the, the scales a little to give it extra crunch, but this one has been scaled and deboned and not deboned, scaled and cleaned very nice. That white meat in there, I don't know why people scared of it. Well, it's because of the poison, but very nice, very tasty, very satisfying. The kingfish, I don't know if I wasn't recording a while ago, but I'm doing it over again because this kingfish, that's not even the kingfish, that's the barrel. This kingfish, the meat is so clean and fresh. Mm. It's not as sweet as a barracuda. It's more flaky, a little more dry, but it's very fresh and you can tell how it just breaks apart from everything and becomes like, it's, it's really, really good and tender meat in there. Flaky fish meat that's fresh and just hangs out and some of that natural rice and peas to go with the fish. Mm. Mm. Getting a holy for that natural coconut milk in. Nothing flavor profile is exactly what you're looking for. It's not over salted, it's not overcrowded with powder seasoning or anything in there. It's just natural rice and peas that's cooked down. So lovely with that natural coconut milk and the, the natural fresh herbs that came right over there from the market this morning, cooked down in it with the coconut milk, just bringing out, exhuming with flavor. Mm, yeah, man. I think it's time to try some of this. Let's go in, that is. Mm, let's see if we can tell what is what. That is a piece of squid and a piece of conk that is on that and that flavor is good. Yeah, Martin. Little bit of everything. Mm. This is that banana dumpling. That dumpling, dumpling, mm -mm. good food make you sweat, I tell you all the time. But that flavor of the banana and the dumpling, the accent and the normal. Mm. I've had coconut in dumpling, I've had some banana, but this banana does have a flavor that really, really pronounced and really, really good. I think I like banana porridge, it's a little sweet, but it's not too sweet. It's just perfect for me with the banana porridge. Yeah. Uh, everything going on in there. Mix that up with rice and peas, the fried fish, the escovitch sauce. So, you know I'm a mix up. Some of everything that was in the plate. Pronounced flavors, natural flavors, natural seasonings, fresh ingredients, fresh fish, fresh seafood ingredients, fresh barracuda, fresh kingfish, fresh conk fresh sea cat, fresh squid, and then the things, the natural ingredients that come from the market right there. The banana in the, in, in the dumpling, just a very nice, cool vibes, cool experience to have down here at the seaside, at River Bay, at Murphy's, and River Bay Seaside. Yeah man, River Bay Fishing Village, all right. But cheers. Really good. Really, really, really exciting flavors coming out of this kitchen. Really, really natural ingredients being used and just taking your time to perfect the art and put out something that's very satisfying, very tasty and very palatable. I must say, nice experience. I had to come outside, come catch my breath. That was very, very satisfying as I love our seafood and I love our all things fresh. 
all products that are Jamaican and basically have a Jamaican footprint or handprint on most of the ingredients that are in there. Big up to Muffy, big up to the seaside here at River Bay Seaside and as I tell you all the time, support your local industry, support your local fishermen, support your local farmers, support your local restaurateurs, your chefs. Everybody get out there, enjoy the food that we have in Jamaica because there's a lot out there to discover, there's a lot out there to have. And until next time, big up everybody. One love, bless. They said the number for reach me at 455-7535. 455-7535, right. and that's how you get Muffy. And remember, Muffy do things done to order. So call and find out what him have for the day. Everything is fresh, everything is cooked right here, straight from the sea or any other things that you might want, even Aki and Safi Shimav and them thing there as well. I will remind you that when you come to Muffy's though, it's not where he has things ready. Everything is basically cooked to order. You have to order what you want and you wait. But there can be a little wait because there's good stuff going on in there. There's food going out, people that call and order. I encourage you to call and order before. Call and see what he has or come down and be willing to Spend a little time with Muffy, but enjoy the live open cooking and the atmospheres. Really nice spirit, really nice vibes down there at the seaside.